Hey guys and welcome back to another one and with great news from Plex as you could see on the title there uh, from now on we no longer need Plex server to be able to use uh, Plex on any Android device to play our media libraries <laughs> that is great and I'm talking mostly about uh, movies now I just want to share with you what I did test out so far and uh, my opinion of course and as you can see on screen it's easy uh, just go to the Google Play Store install Plex and once we open Plex on Android, now instead of having just the uh, server page configuration, we have a new tab that it's called the Open uh, Files. And when we click it, the Plex app will search our uh, device and our SD card uh, to see if there's any movie available. And if there is, it will display that movie uh, right over there on screen, as you can see. Then if we press uh, one of those movies, what it will show us is the fan art or the DVD cover with some information, as you can see, which looks really, really nice and this uh, is great. Now, we all know that this is a better version and there are a lot of improvements to be made, but in my opinion, this is a huge, a huge step in a right direction in terms of Plex playing on Android devices and I'm more concerned, of course, phones and tablets are all great, but I'm more concerned about Android TV boxes and what we can get out of Plex using this kind of device. And I would like to leave two requests right over here, um, which hopefully we will see in the future, especially because we have uh, nowadays machines like these that are totally capable of running a Plex server. So that is my uh, first request, if possible in the future to see a Plex server being used on any device, not only the Nvidia Shield that we have seen the two versions here on the channel, but on any device, just depending on the hardware instead of the operating system, which in this particular case are pure Android TV boxes. Now, my second request is that at this moment, um, the Plex app is able to play our movie files, but in terms of design, it doesn't look very appealing yet. What I would like to see there would be more a Plex style in terms of design, but at this moment, unfortunately, all, all we get is those thumbnails, uh, which are fine, but are not excellent. So that was one of the improvements that we would like to see um, at this moment. For us to see the fan art or the DVD cover, we have to press the movie and then we will see the art. But I would love to see it before on the screen that we have all the movies listed. And finally, one other thing that I would love to see, uh, which I honestly believe that would improve a lot um, the usage of Plex standalone player server, whatever you want to call it, uh, on these machines would be able to uh, map network drives. Now, this is easy on Windows, on uh, Linux, and on OS X, but on Android, it's not as easy. We need rooted devices and so on and so forth. You can read about it. I'm not going to waste your time here, but I would love to see Plex uh, getting a way of, instead of just running through the local storage and SD card, also be able to search over the network and mount a drive or a folder so that we can use it from our NAS. Now, I know some of you will say, hey, Robert, but for that, if you already have a NAS unit, for that, just use the Plex server and then the Plex app and everything will be great. But the thing is that a lot of users that I see on comments have old NAS units that are not able to use the Plex server. And this would be great for those type of users and many others that I can't imagine right now. Guys, so in my opinion and in terms of conclusion, what I feel about this update on Plex, which lately they have been uh, developing a lot of features, which is great. Um, but in this particular case, Plex for Android, my opinion is that this is a huge, huge step in the right direction. It's far from perfect. I do agree with that. And they have called it better. So it is a better version. But I do see the potential. And hopefully in the near future, we will be able to use Plex as a standalone app. Uh, right over here on this type of device. And that is it. Hopefully this video uh, will help you to check it out this new feature about Plex and other features that uh, Plex has. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you on the next one.